and welcome back to WP Cloud. In this video, we're going to see how you can create an additional menu panel on your WordPress website, which will make your website more accessible and more convenient for your website visitors. So if you're ready, let's dive in. So we're going to test our floating button on our website. But before that, we need to ensure that we have a reliable server hosting so that there are no uh, compatibility or lagging issues occur. Um, that's why we're using Cloudways, which is 100% compatible with any plugin that we're going to use. Uh, and let's do a quick tour. So Cloudways offers flexible plans with transparent pricing and there are no hidden fees ever. So uh, you see the cost you need to pay upfront. Uh, and you can start completely free. No credit card is required. Uh, you can try it for uh, three days and get the real power of it yourself. Uh, all the plans include 24 seven support, uh, your choice of five cloud providers, built-in Cloudflare for enhanced security, uh, free object cache pro, free SSL certificates and free migration to get you started quickly. Uh, it offers a range of plans that fit any size or website need. Uh, the prices start at just uh, $14 per month. And Cloudways offers two main server plans, which is Cloudway uh, Flexible and Cloudway Autonomous. Uh, the Flexible is based on the pay-as-you-go principle, uh, and you can start with it as low as $12 just. Uh, and Cloudways Flexible lets you gain control over your server uh, and cloud providers, uh, hosting more than just WordPress, custom PHP, Laravel, or Magento. Uh, and the Autonomous, the uh, Cloudways Autonomous, eliminates the need for manual server adjustments. Uh, it seamlessly scales resources to meet any kind of any size of traffic, ensuring a smooth user experience, uh, even during peak periods. Uh, and using the Cloudways Autonomous, you can focus on your core activities or on uh, seamlessly using your plugins or other parts of your website without having to concentrate on the security or etc. etc. Because Cloudways will take care of all that. So now let's uh, move on to our WordPress dashboard and test this floating button in action. So now I'm on my WordPress dashboard and here I've already installed and activated the floating button plugin and let's get started with it. For that, you will simply need to click on this add new button and the dashboard will appear on your screens. Uh, so let's get started with naming our menu bar actually. And I want to create a social panel. So our visitors are redirected to different social media pages of our brand. Let's name it social panel. And let's get started with choosing the icon as our main button. And let's head to icons and they have more than 2000 icons available here, which is huge. And I associate social media pages with the sign of, uh, of a glow. Here, I think that's the perfect one. Um, Okay, once we are done with this, with the main button, let's head to uh, sub buttons. And here we have two sub buttons. One is for horizontal and one is for uh, vertical um, sub buttons. Uh, so let's do this first. We simply click on add uh, item, add button, uh, and we can label it as Facebook. Let's say the first one is Facebook. Uh, and then we can put the... Um, link here let's head to icons and we simply search facebook here great uh we're clicking on add item another one let's say instagram mm -hmm. let's choose an icon as well okay probably this one and here, we can also, besides the icon, icons, head to style and select the button color, the button hover color. Hover color is when you go on the button, it changes the color. Uh, so maybe we can make this a bit darker, I would say, and uh, the same probably for, 
face pick one as well. Mm -hmm. Great. Let's add another item and let's say it's our blog. And for that, let's choose um, WordPress sign. Let's first type the link. Add a WordPress icon. Okay, great. Now we are done with this. So I want to have three horizontal and three uh, ver vertical lines. Let's head to the second sub buttons and here let's create YouTube. Let's add the icon of YouTube. Okay, another item. Uh, let's create Pinterest. And choose the Pinterest icon here. And let's add one for our TikTok page. Great. Once we're done with this, we can head to the style uh thing here size section here and do a more generalized styling for our panel uh, so here we can choose either to make it a circular or um, to have it a shadow or not. We can choose uh, sub button animations such as fade. Then we can choose the position. We can choose bottom right, bottom left, bottom center, top right, top left, top center, and left and right. I would choose uh, probably bottom right. That's the thing when uh, you have maybe the... Um, social chat button here and usually uh, visitors concentrate on that part that's why I'm gonna put it there and you can choose the size and medium I think is good to go uh, and again you can choose the tooltip color the overall color of your social panel well um, let's have to display because it's important now where are we gonna see the social panel how we're gonna display it I'm gonna tell you so either you can choose from here to display it everywhere or you can choose a shortcut option here so if you choose everywhere on every single page of your website the uh, social panel is going to be uh, played but if not you can choose the shortcut and then hit on the save changes button once you're done with your changes and you can see the shortcut appear right here and you're gonna simply need to copy this and then head to a page create a new one or uh, the existing ones let's name it let's say this is our home page and let's choose a shortcut and paste our button here and publish and let's view the page and here you can see it's right here and if you click on this you can see the fade uh, animation you can see all this once they click they will head to your uh, social media page there and it's really awesome and i really like the design and how it fits in the corner it's really nice well, that's it about the floating button plugin, which will make your website more appealing and easy to navigate. And if you've still got any questions concerning it, don't forget to drop them in comments and we'll get back to you as soon as possible. And if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel and hit that notification bell to not miss out any of our upcoming videos. And I'll see you next time and have a nice day. Bye bye.